so it seems that Sega didn't want to wait for Gamescom to reveal their big news, so they decided to reveal it early. It's already out, and I'm late to react to all of it. It's the big news that everyone's talking about, so I'm going to get to all this right now. But if subscribe to the channel already, please make sure to subscribe, okay? So let's get into the big news that everyone is talking about. We've got brand new Sonic Rumble screenshots, everyone. Are we, oh my God, check out these new screenshots of Sonic Rumble found on the game's official website. We can see here Sonic Tails and Knuckles, Team Sonic. You've got the water slide and the environment of the egg pawns. And this environment is, is really beautiful, man. It looks so good, man. Look at it, it, it's great, it's great. Look, is that Amy in the corner? Which one is that? Let me see, hold on. We've got Shadow, Espio, Tails and Knuckles in I'm assuming Sky Sanctuary. It's another beautiful screenshot. I mean, it's pretty low res. You know, the art style still looks a bit stop motiony, but you know, I, you know, it looks good for a phone game. I mean, it looks pretty solid. And then we got here, we got Shadow. Is this is this Silent Forest? Is that that Lost World stage? You got Cream there. You got the Bad Nicks. You know that they rehashed in Lost World. It looks like a Lost World. It's giving off Lost World. Okay, I think it's Lost World. And then the final one is Amy in what appears to be Starlight Carnival. Um, is that a big robot in the corner over there? And you got Tails too, like, is Sonic down there? Is, is that the adventure pose? Is he doing the adventure pose? <laughs> yeah, I think this is Starlight Carnival. But yeah, Rumble is supposed to be out now in the Philippines. So anyone who's not in the Philippines who gets it running, like if you just download the APK and use a VPN, let me know because I really want to try it out. So now that we've got the big news out of the way, let's talk about what else. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, come on. Anyway, there's a new trailer for Sonic X Shadow Generations. It says, traverse iconic stages and conquer your foes like never before with Shadow's new Doom powers. There's more ways than ever to explore Shadow's new chapter as he races to defeat Black Doom. Sonic X Shadow Generations is available October 25th, pre-order today. And there's a video on the YouTube channel so I can watch it from YouTube to get the higher quality because I want that 4K, baby. Let's get into the shit. I ain't seen it yet. Something calls to me. That's definitely cool. Greet again, Shadow the Hedgehog. That's supporting me in the background. Is that the White World? All you want, you cannot deny your fate. Doom Spears. Britney's. He's Britney's brother. Shit. Shadows related to Britney. Who could have thought? Strike five times at once. I mean, Brittany was striking five times at once so that hit me baby one more time and then not over What is that? Was that a secret ring level? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What? Is that a new environment? Doom Blast, launch your enemy. Team Blast? Chaos Blast? Oh, is that the shadow enemy? That's the shadow enemies! That's the shadow, the, 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 the PS2! Doom will conquer all terrain. This is the hot water area, isn't it? Oh, shit! Yo, look at that! It's like a wisp without the cringe! 2D, of course. Okay. Doom wings soar through the skies. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, my God. The tornadoes and shit. Doom surf, surf and spin over water. Oh my god. It's like what they tried to do with the shadow vehicles, but the vehicles were just not it. Is that. Sega, what is the catch? No, it looks too good. There's a catch. You're not gonna play me. You're not gonna play me. There's a catch. Oh, there's a, there's, there's a catch somewhere. There's gonna be a I don't. I can't see a catch. Am I getting too old to spot the catch? Where is the catch? It looks good. Like, the environments are good. Like, the enemies are good. Like, like, what is that enemy? Is that from Shadow? Like, 05? That looks new. I don't even know what the... F Even the environments don't feel like 
overly rehash i mean we just we just got cyberspace and frontiers we got the bottom of the bottom so like maybe anything looks good compared to that but like my god like the ability i've been saying this shit for so long like forces had barely any fucking ability sonic was so bad bones you couldn't even drift it was so basic it's like like they need to spice shit up and it's like they're finally spicing some shit up like you know what i mean like this is the shit i've been saying right like I'm just waiting for the catch. Oh no, Shadow looks stretched the fuck out here, did he? It's like that Frontiers cutscene, like in the first island where it's just randomly stretched for no reason. He's giving off that. But those Shadow PS2 enemies look really good. <laughs> they look really good in HD, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, is someone gonna port the Shadow levels to like Shadow Generations, like the old fire? There's gotta be a Shadow port. Like, we got an Unleash project for gens. We gotta get a Shadow project for Shadow Gen. I'm just saying, like, because, like, oh, like, that Kingdom Valley. Shit, this is Kingdom Valley. So they put the shadow enemies in Kingdom Valley. Yeah, I mean, pff, the mods. Ah, oh, this is about to be the new modern haven. I know people thought Frontiers was going to be that. It wasn't, because Cyberspace was mid. Okay. <laughs> like, this is about to be great for mods. This is going to be great for mods. Like, so, I'm just, like, do more Conquer All Terrain. So this is the one that you can surf the, the water, right? Yeah, the, the poison and shit. Okay. This is, yeah, this is Chaos Island, isn't it? They turn Chaos Island, is it, is it still an island here? Or is it like a level? Um, It seems like they turned it into a level. And you got the 2D part, of course. Uh, and the Doom Wings. They've done a, oh, Sega, man, like. You know, when when they try, you can tell. When they, which, which is why I get so annoyed when they don't try, because I'm like, I know you can try. Like, I know sometimes you try. So when, when you don't do it, it's like, I've seen you do it. I've seen you do it. You know, it's like when Tails was shaking his ass to Chaos Zero, it's like we all got annoyed because we know Tails is better than that. We know that he wasn't always a bitch. We saw him fight Chaos 4. So it's like when he, when he shows his booty cheeks to Chaos Zero, it's like, you're better than that. Like, Sega, you're better than Forces. You're better than Cybers, but you can do better. You're better than Colors, okay? You can do better. So when we tell you to do better, and you don't do it, you get pissed. And when you finally do something that looks good, but you gotta praise it as well, because it's like, we need to know that we're not just here to be mad at everything. We're here to criticize you to do the right shit, which is to put in effort, okay? And we can see some fucking effort being put in, okay? Like, for fuck's sake, it's about time. God, cyberspace was shit. Like, it was so bad. Green Hill, Chemical Pond, Green, Green, Chemical, Sky, Green, Old leveled everything old. This is fresh. Look at this environment. Like, for once, I don't feel like I'm just playing a re. With a re I should have said, I'm saying that as Mel Overlord's on the screen. I know, right? When it's your nostalgia, you don't give a fuck, right? But, like, I mean, we've only seen this once since Heroes, which is now like once okay but green hill like i wasn't that mad when green hill came to generations in 2011 right but it's been a long time since then like i've said this before but like rehashing old things once in a while cool i'm not saying rehashing the classics is bad and rehashing the adventure era is good because i like the adventure era. i like the classics too i'm just saying don't rehash the same thing right like, the whole meta era rehashed the same boss over and over again. Like, the Colors final boss, the Lost Wall final boss. Like, they copied it again in Forces. Like, it's the same thing. Like, if you had brought Marble Zone to Shadow Generations, I wouldn't have been mad. Because Marble Zone isn't overly rehashed. I think we saw it once in that Lego D Sonic Dimensions thing. But, like, it's not like a everyday ring back Marble Zone. But Green Hill? Chemical Plant? It's like, we've seen it so many times. Like, if you're gonna rehash... Pluck something from Advance 2. We ain't seen anything from Advance 2. Pluck Altitude Limit from Rush. Fucking pick Metal City from Riders. Like, but not the same Green Hill every single time. Like, have some variety in your copycatery. I'm just saying, okay? But, like, Metal Overload looks really fucking good here. And Midori was talking about that Heroes remake, and Zippo mentioned it too. <sighs> if that shit comes to fruition. Oh my god, he looks so good! Man! Uh, maybe Sega could pull off the heroes to make, you know? They're, they're getting me gas, man. They're getting me gas. Maybe! Maybe they might still fuck. I'm just saying, but like. But like. 
Oh my God, he's the goal, man. Look at him, man. He's the goal. Look, he's the goal. Look at, oh, look at the graphics on that. Like, oh, it's like they recreated the whole. Every single thing is there. Oh my God, like, and they be saying graphics don't matter. See, this is why I get so annoyed when people say that dumb shit. Graphics don't matter. Look at Nintendo. Nintendo graphics still progress over time. Graphics matter. Okay, that's why I was so like nonchalant when the Sonic Generations portion was just the same game again. Cause I was like, the Shadow Gens portion, that shit looks fresh. Graphically, presentation, everything. If Generations base had gotten the same treatment, like imagine how crazy that would have been. Assuming they didn't fuck it up, obviously. But people are so scared to say it was gonna fuck up another re-release. They're like, just leave it alone. Yeah, add a few chow, but like don't do anything too crazy. We don't want you to like ruin it on some colors ultimate shit but deep down you know if they had remade it on some shadow generations graphic shit hedgehog engine 2 shit that shit would have been crazy like all the zones from base gens redone that would have been crazy i'm just saying it would have been insane i'm not gonna mock the game down for that in terms of like when i'm scoring it but like it's just something to be aware of it could have been even crazier if they'd gone that route like every single zone would have been Hedgehog Engine 2'd out. We're supposed to read through a blog article. You see, I was I thought I was gonna watch a trailer and not care that much and just read the article, but the trailer kind of got me in a in a state. So <laughs> you know, there's an article. I think it's a, an Azuka interview here. Uh, yeah. So let's read this quickly. The team just re released a trailer all about the Doom powers, highlighting each unique ability and how they provide new twists for Shadows platforming and combat. The trailer also showcased gameplay from new stages calling back to fan favorites such as Chaos Island from Sonic. That does not say fan favorite, that was the worst island, but visually, visually beautiful. So to see it now with most likely better level design is gonna be good. And Radical Highway from Sonic Adventures 2, as well as iconic boss challenges like Metal Overlord from the GOAT. Eagle-eyed viewers might also catch a glimpse of the remained reimagined hub world, White Space where players will get the opportunity to test out and master Shadow's new moves while they explore, unlock stages, and uncover abilities. We got together with Sonic Team Creative Officer Father Zukador to chat on why this game was the perfect opportunity to give Shadow new abilities and how they offer new action-packed ways of navigating different stages and boss battles. Why are Shadow's Doom powers important to the story and the gameplay? zuko san says, in terms of gameplay, the team wanted to make Shadow Generation's action more unique to differentiate it from what Sonic can do, so we added the Doom powers. Shadow's new uh, powers are essential because they give him new ways to attack enemies and traverse the world, giving our team more to build upon in each stage's level design. While we can't share much about the story, Doom powers play an essential role in Shadow's journey and development throughout his campaign, giving him more powers to save the world. Shadow receives these when he awakens to the power of darkness in the game, so players will see how closely they tie into the narrative when the game comes out later this year. How did you choose the final selection of Doom powers we see in the game? Why were these the powers right for Shadow? Zukadon says, uh, Shadow is a dark anti-hero character, so the Doom powers had to embody a sense of danger and mystery that could be seen in Shadow's actions and movements. The level designers also incorporated many ways the Doom powers could be used in this platform action game, so they're not just additional combat moves, Shadow can use Doom powers to perform platform around the world. So is it like the Wisps where they're not like fully required to beat the game? But you kind of use it for red rings and to beat the game better, I guess. Or is it like mandatory? Like you need the Doom powers to progress. I saw some like skating on water shit. I'm assuming you're gonna need the Doom powers for that, you know. But we'll see. How are these powers different from Shadow's existing powers in previous games? When designing the levels in Shadow Generations, we wanted to make the most of Shadow's existing move, Chaos Control, which enables them to find new platforms to run through each stage and find new ways of attacking bosses. Uh, however, with only Chaos Control, the core of Shadow's gameplay is very similar to what Sonic can do, so we introduced the Doom powers to give the game more unique action. Not only does it increase the variety of things you can do in the platform action stages, but it allows for great exploration and traversal abilities in the 3D white space hub world for Shadow. Look at him skating on that shit. Look at that shit. That's a clean render, man. I'm gonna have to use that for a thumbnail or something. What was the design process like when conceptualizing the idea and designing the look of each power? Azuka said the idea for the Doom powers came up when we realized we needed to give Shadow new abilities and powers to create new gameplay formats. It was important to provide Shadow abilities that Sonic can't do to make the action more enjoyable while ensuring each power reflects his dark anti-hero character. As the name suggests, the Doom powers draw energy from Black Doom, so that was taken into consideration in the design of the Doom powers. 
What Doom powers are you most excited for fans to experience? Doom Wing, the black wings that come out of Shadow in the Summer Game Fest trailer, was an impactful idea early in the design process, so we wanted to make it the coolest, I'm the coolest looking of all the Doom powers. The wings that come out of Shadow make you think of a devil, which goes well with Shadow's dark hero elements and allows us to present something cool and new, something we couldn't do with Sonic. You can do cool and new things in Sonic Kazoo, because Sonic doesn't just have to be classic rehash bullshit and superstar. I'm sorry, I'm, let me not go on a superstars rant. I'm sorry. Someone tweeted that we might get superstars plus, and you know, I got a bit annoyed. Okay. <laughs> Sonic fans, get ready to embrace Shadow's dark side and use his new power to take on Black Doom and save the world. When the game launches this fall, be sure to try out all different kinds of paths and methods with each Doom Power to find new ways of completing each stage in battle. So there's going to be different paths related to which Doom Powers use, it seems. They will pre-order now at $50 on PS5 and PS4 consoles and everything else, but this is the PlayStation box that I'm going to pretend is only on Sony. Uh, to learn more about the various pre-order incentives, head to the PlayStation Store or Sonic and Shadow Generation's official website. Fans who buy a digital deluxe can play the game three days early and receive additional content. Fans who pay $250 Get a dream cost. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a great trailer, man. This is a great trailer. I'm, I, I'm looking for like flaws I don't see. Um, obviously, I'm not saying the level design is gonna be S tier or anything like that. I mean, I'm, I'm realistic with it. But like with the forces era, like you could see all the holes in the trailers. It was like blatant. Like, I don't see that here. It seems like they're adding abilities. It looks interesting. I don't feel like they're just hiding all the gameplay in the trailer. Like it feels like they're showing us the game, right? I mean, they could show more, but there's gonna be a Gamescom demo. I wonder if we're gonna see any more content in the Gamescom demo. It's gonna be the same as the Summer Game Fest demo. I guess we'll find out. Speaking of which, am I, is there any point in streaming the Gamescom? I was gonna stream the Gamescom event tonight on the channel, but they've already shown the Sonic trailer. So what's even the point, right? Unless the movie trailer is there, but Paramount seems to be asleep at the wheel. So I don't know, right? Let me know if you still want to see the Gamescom reaction. I might just do the Gamescom reaction on the non-Sonic channel, which I stopped promoting over here, but those of you who don't know about the non-Sonic channel, that's the non-Sonic channel. I might just stream it there since I don't think we're going to get new Sonic at this event, unless it's the movie trailer, you know, or Rumble, which no one seems to care about Rumble. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, more content comments to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about Sonic and Shadow Generations so far. And by that, I really just mean Shadow Generations because Sonic Generations is the same game. But yeah, that's what I have to say right now. Right. That's what I have to say right now. So, Remy out.